Hi Pisces, welcome to your singles reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, how to book a personal reading, that's I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there. So please, please do go check that out. Thank you so much. And um, those who have supported the channel, who have reached out for personal reading, all the new subscribers, those who have blessed me with the energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel. Thank you to everybody for all your support. It really does mean a lot to me. Helping with the channel's growth, getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them and being a part of that is greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you. And I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much. So let's see, Pisces, who is coming towards you. This can be for the month of November or from every, whenever you watch it till whenever. I do consider them timeless, even though they are dated. That's just for um, sequence order. So let's see. Pisces, happy fall. Happy November. Let's see. Pisces, let's get a couple signs. Possible incoming person for Pisces. Okay. That one to jump out was the moon, but I don't feel comfortable taking that yet. Okay. Can we get a couple signs? There's one. For Pisces, one more, one more possible incoming person for Pisces singles, spirits, one more card. Thank you. So there we go. All right. And I just did Capricorn. Wow. So we have fire and we have Capricorn. So fire is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and we have Capricorn. So you got four possibilities here. You are a water sign, fire, Leo, Sag, Aries, or earth, which is Capricorn. Okay, so Pisces, first thing here we'll do now is who is this incoming person? Who are they? What are they like? What is their energy like for you, Pisces? This could be the next incoming person, or this could be the person that is the one for you um, also. So may not even be the next person. It could be someone that you can meet further down the line who is a potential true partner or it could be the next person coming into you so we'll see what we get here all right so who is the energy of this person or what is the energy who is this person spirit please coming into pisces who is this person what is their energy sacral chakra okay so this is someone who's going to be very passionate <laughs> very passionate sacral chakra is all about the uh well groin area so it's about um you know desires it's about passion it's about um going after what you want with a lot of passion drive and ambition so i feel someone who is very driven who's a go-getter kind of person who may be very passionate maybe a very sexual person um this does look to me like fire energy someone very fiery um again like full of life go-getter ambitious kind of person all right so they could be an entrepreneur also they could own their own business they could be just a very successful um business person high ranking uh boss or something like a ceo or president vice president something like that Okay, and they may have a very bright, sunshiny personality. As you see, all this sun, you know, like this uh, bright energy there. So they may have a bright, happy, go-lucky kind of go-getter energy. All right, so what time frame? Let's see, what time frame? Like when, what time of year, season? So we have air here which is winter so winter in winter is not too far away and we have four there so it could be on the fourth day the 14th the 24th the fourth day into winter the fourth week into winter okay so let's see so we got winter where could you meet this person where could you meet this person where where could Pisces possibly meet this incoming person spirit? Please, thank you so much. Where? 
harmony here. So, and you see like, um, I don't know, it could be, it could be in church or something like that. It could be at a wedding. It could be, um, some kind of party or a get together or a celebration or something like that. It could be, um, it could be at a celebration, a ceremony, a get together. It could be in church. It could be, um, I'm getting something because you see harmony, two people coming together. So I'm heavenly getting like a wedding or an anniversary party or some sort of celebration or an engagement party. Maybe you have mutual friends, but you've never met or something like that. And you see all this greenery here uh, also. So you could be in a warm part of the country also or uh, world where it's actually going into summer not winter or for some of you it could be um just at a, a party or something like that okay and it could be indoors i mean if it's cold i'm getting like winter so if you're in like going like if in your australia or something and you're go going to be going into summer then this might not be till like next winter or something like that so, so whenever winter is for you, but with this, I'm getting a, a party, engagement party, wedding, um, anniversary party, some kind of get together celebration or something like that. All right. So how, so that's like aware, but how will you meet this person? How? So we have like moving on. So movement, I'm getting, so you could be just dancing out on the floor and they come out dancing or they ask you to dance or something like that. You know, moving on, but I'm just getting moving, like movement, body movement. So, I mean, you could even be in line waiting to greet like the bride, the groom, you know, how they have uh, that also. Um, and you see like the green falling here and some weddings still do like a dollar dance. If you've ever heard of that, you pay a dollar, you dance with the groom or the bride. You could be in line. Um, and you sort of kind of run into each other, um, maybe the lines are next to each other and you kind of run into each other or something like that, or you're dancing on the floor or they could come ask you to dance. Maybe they have, you know, had an eye on you or you ask them to dance, vice versa, whatever here, something with movement. So you either bump into each other dancing on the floor or something like that, or they ask you, you ask them, you know, if you're a male watching this or female, whatever, how it works for you. Okay. So, all right. So if you have any celebrations coming up, weddings, get togethers, uh, engagement parties, anniversary parties, whatever, could even be just a Christmas party, could even be a Christmas party. And you know, you meet and it's like instant harmony here. But if it's a Christmas party, I mean, they could be invited by coworkers, maybe a coworkers friend comes and you never met them or something like that all right so let's see what's your advice i'm getting like an instant connection here like an instant like attraction because you do have the sacral chakra here if i read the cards other than how i just read them i get a very uh sexual energy which is attraction Maybe you both have been single for a very long time and it's like you click like instant attraction and it's like moving on together here, you know, just, or, you know, again, dancing or, you know, asking one or the other to dance or something like that. All right. So what is your advice? What is the advice for Pisces, Pisces with this incoming person? Wow. Okay. Transform, 35, which is 8, and 8 is about that movement, action, travel, communication. So we have transform here. So this could be a very transformative connection here for the both of you. And if you feel like, gee, I don't know, or maybe they're different from me, or maybe they're not my usual type, uh, just give it time, and I think it will transform into something beautiful here. As you see the butterflies there transforming into, you know, they're transformed into beautiful butterflies. So get, I'm, th I'm feeling give it time, let it transform. If maybe right away you don't feel that, like, mm, I don't know, 
um, but you kind of like them or, oh, they may be cute or whatever. This like maybe that physical attraction, but you're like, yeah, I don't know if it's more than that. I'm, I'm thinking really give it time here and I think it will transform into something more. So that's the kind of connection like you may transform each other. That wasn't the advice. It was that was supposed to be what kind of connection will this be? So I think it's going to be a very transformative connection for the two of you. You'll help them grow. They'll help you grow. And I'm also, you know, give it, give it time. Give it time to transform. Take it slow. This here is supposed to be your advice. So let's see if Spirit clarifies anything I just said. Hopefully Spirit does for your advice. Yeah, we just said, I just saw be patient. Be patient. What is your advice with this connection? What is Pisces advice for this connection? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. And I think my incense went out. Let's see if I can light it. All right. So let's see. Oh, there we go. Let's see what the advice is for Pisces with this possible incoming person. Decorate. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Decorate. 55, which is about change. That is really weird. I just got that Kenny Rogers song in my head, You Decorated My Life. If anybody knows 70s and early 80s music, I'm getting, I just got that song in my head by Kenny Rogers. If you don't know it, look it up. You decorated my life. So this person, wow, I'm getting like a really transformative connection here. And like you're going to decorate, like brighten up each other's life. Wow, in all ways, it's going to transform into something, something magical and beautiful here. Do we have any butterflies on here? No, but we've got a little fairy there. So yeah, I feel like. Let give it time. Have patience. You know, uh, let the change transformative change happen. If you're not feeling, or if you're feeling, gee, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna move beyond the passion here. Just give it time, because I do see harmony here. All right, so let's get some tarot on this. See what the tarot has to say. You Pisces. So if you've got any winter weddings coming up, uh, really pay attention to the people around you. All right, so what do we have for Pisces in this connection? Spirit, please, what do we have for Pisces? Wow, so there's the passionate new beginning. So yeah, maybe a lot of fast attraction passion start off that way. Passion ignited, a spark. Could be a very sexual connection at first. Brand new beginning there. But we do have the Nine of Cups here, which does talk of wishes and dreams coming true, uh, happiness and joy. So I think it will move from that fiery, passionate new beginning to the Nine of Cups of love, happiness, joy, and wish fulfillment in every single way. And you see all the cups there, Nine of Cups. So, you know, you could be out celebrating, you know, drinking. And if you are, be careful that uh, something doesn't happen before it's supposed to. So be mindful of that if you're having a good time. The Nine of Cups can talk of overindulgence. So be mindful of that. What else? What else? Wow. So we do have the Three of Swords here which does represent heartache and pain. And then we have healing energy here. We have something divinely guided. We have faith, hope, and optimism, and we have healing energy. So either you or them may have just gotten over a heartache, pain, a breakup, and uh, have healed from that. Somebody here has healed over um, a heartache, heartbreak, or pain. Could be you or them, or both of you, maybe. 
maybe that's how you uh, connect by, you know, saying, gee, you know, I just came out of a relationship, blah, 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 you know, like you're at a wedding or a celebration and you're like, you know, well, good luck to them, but this is what happened to me and you both like went through the same thing, I feel. Yeah, and as I said that, the five of pentacles here, energy, abandonment, left out in the cold, um, loss. So yeah, you both, both I feel healed over being abandoned and left out in the cold in a heartache, painful relationship. And nines also represent single energy. So I think you're both single. You both recovered over a pain or a heartache. And like the star here is bringing this divinely guided, like d bringing you together through whatever this is you're attending this in wintertime, whether again, could be a Christmas party, it could be wedding, ceremony, something, celebration of some kind. <laughs> Ten of Cups, total happiness and joy and fulfillment in every single way. We go from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, nine and ten. Wish come true, and then fulfillment, happiness, joy in every single way possible. But we have the Five of Swords energy here, which can be a selfish, selfish kind of energy, ego-driven energy, getting ahead at all costs kind of energy. I don't know why that's here. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? The High Priestess. So listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, but really not expressing anything so you may think it's too good to be true and you may feel like no i just got to do what's best for me and kind of like just like walk away from this person or sneak away from this person and really not telling them that but i think divine is trying to bring you together this is a your ten of cups person so try not to be in that energy of you know ego that kind of energy So what else do we have for Pisces? What else do we have for Pisces with this person? Seven of Wands. Yeah, being a little defensive on guard kind of energy here. Fire energy, like taking a stance, standing your ground, being a little defensive and on guard. You may be a little defensive on guard towards this incoming person for some reason, even though there's a lot of attraction and the Ace of Wands is here for the passionate new beginning. You know, wish come true, wish come true. Two, two cards of wishes and dreams coming true. Hmm. Let's see what else we have for you, Pisces. I feel like you need to let down your guard. Yeah, because <laughs> Ace of Cups just flew out. Again, divinely guided. All the Aces are divinely guided. Cup of love here. Brand new beginning in love. Love and emotions are overflowing, overfilling with the Ten of Cups. So yeah, I do feel like this is your love and passion is all here, divinely guided, ten of cups, fulfillment in every single way. But you may be a little on guard and defensive against this person and feel like uh, I just need to block them because of ego. Or you may not even be listening to your gut and your intuition when you should. When you're like, oh, I think it's my person, but your ego takes over and it's like, no, I think maybe I'll just block them. Maybe out of fear of having a heartache again and being left out in the cold. But I think Spirit is trying to show you here that this probably is your person. And you need to move on from that energy. Yeah, Ten of Wands, laying down the burdens of the past. Just let it go, let it be. Six of Wands, so you can bring in this victory, this love victory, success victory. Eight of Swords, you can get out of this mental entrapment that you're in. It's only self-inflicted. Again, with that energy of sneaking away. Sneaking away from divine counterparts here. Again, with the ceremonies, weddings, ceremonies, celebrations. This is a stable home life. Commitment. Turning your back and running from the commitment because of the, of the fear. Like just waiting and not taking action. Seven of Pentacles energy. Yep. Running out of fear of this commitment, of this true life partner. 
being in that mental blockage that's of your own doing, but you can lay down those burdens and just surrender to this uh, victory here. Maybe even this offer from them or you to them, and maybe they're in this energy. But yeah, there is a love victory here. If we can surrender all those things that are not serving. Because I do see potential here for soulmate partner. Oh, Pisces. Okay. Uh, if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a singles reading. Who's coming towards you? I do a um, general tarot reading forecast, which is a general reading. I do a love connection reading. If you already have a connection with somebody and I do a uh, spirit guide messages, what you need to know from spirit at this time. So if you're interested in all that, Please do subscribe and hit the bell and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you. Good luck to you here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.